run the best block as a fully born from scratch. And, and I know that we don't have much of an audience today, but it's fine. I'll give you some general information about what we do. And I'll get started by explaining what Tumblr is. Tumblr is just a social media network that markets itself as a blogging platform. And as with any social media network, that's not really what it is, but let's just say it's that. And the interesting thing about Tumblr is that it allows us people to submit asks to blogs. And this allows just regular people to answer questions, but it allows this whole new thing where you can role play and ask questions to characters. And these ask blogs, of course, many fandoms have them, but for we'll focus on the Milo Pony fandom. And these ask blogs can be either text or pictures. And of course, the drawn ask blogs tend to be more popular. And um, these ask blogs have many themes from like slice of life, tragedy, adventure, and can be very story focused or just like day to day silly questions and cuteness like blobs and things <laughs> you might know. But <laughs> and um, some of them are comedic, of course, and silly. So. The nice thing about asks is that it allows for some sort of interactive storytelling where the audience can feel involved, which is why it's kind of taken off in Tumblr. But besides that, we're just really here to answer questions if any of you have them and how to start your ask blog, what we do to maintain our own ask blogs. So if any of you have questions for any of us. So, um, you want to make your blog more popular, and you have an ask blog? Um, the thing about popularity is that it's difficult to get, because like, you can't, like, it's hard to just ask blogs to be like, hey, can you promote me? Because that's like, yeah, it's, it's really awkward. But, what I feel like, and this is sort of difficult, what I feel like you have to do is kind of just love what you do with your blog, and just hope that you get some fame out of it. But some people will get lucky, other people won't get as much. But as long as you love what you do and fundamentally try to just do something that you enjoy, then it shouldn't matter either way. And I'm sorry, it's kind of like, it's hard. Something you can try promoting it on Reddit, and you can try submitting to EQD, because nowadays they've started to feature as blogs. But yeah, EQD. Request your daily. So, any questions? Anonymous hate. Does anyone have to answer? Do you want to answer this? Well, the best way to deal with anonymous hate is to ignore the question or just delete it outright because by giving them any sort of attention, they feel validated. Yeah, don't hate the person. So don't even respond. Like you'll be able to tell usually because it'll be something usually rather insipid, silly, trying to get you riled up. Just delete it. And move on. Do you have any questions? So what inspired all of us to start our blogs? Okay, I, I've been reading a lot of nautical fiction, and for whatever reason, I took fancy to the idea of drawing Luna and a captain had a captain's uniform. And then for whatever reason that just kind of like sat around festering in my head and I decided that I wanted to write a story about that, but I had absolutely no idea how like Princess Luna could be integrated as a, a captain of, of anything. So it just kind of sat around mulling in my mind and eventually I, it's kind of like I made up the story so that I could make this particular idea work. So it's not like I was like, had a grand idea of what I wanted the, the story to be or anything. Just kind of 
just like took hold and ran away. Um, well, I saw that like asphalt was becoming really popular, like as the jam like those famous ones. And like the more I looked through them, the more I thought that like wow, this would be cool to do or something. And so I kept on like trying to think of like some ideas that like weren't already taken. And um, I really liked Marvel Scratch's design, so I just started like drawing her and stuff. But then when I drew her, it looked, she always looked like a little kid, no matter how I tried to draw her. And so I said, might as well make a blog out of her, and make a little filly. For me, I read this story that I don't know. I guess it must have had a very morbid imagination because then I wonder, you know, this story is pretty sad. I wonder what would happen if Dash was blind and had all of her dreams crushed. And yeah, I <laughs> decided to make an ass blog and uh, for some reason it's like popular. I guess people like the idea of crushing dreams. You guys are morbid. <laughs> it's because of the good armor and so on. Well, Thank you for your compliment. Thank you very much. I, I, I wouldn't be able to say it, of course. Any other questions? Yes? I'm sorry, did you ask like, is it, if it's easy to run multiple blogs? I don't run multiple ask blogs. Well, I have two blogs, and they're both connected to the same like email address. So it's sort of easier when it's like that because you don't have to like log in and out like all the time. But you have to make sure that you keep that you update both, or else like people are gonna be like kicking like mad and stuff like, oh, we haven't updated this blog in like forever. And so like. You also have to like balance the updates for each one. Yeah, like work-wise, you'd have to kind of like decide how much time that you were like thinking about promoting to each one and whether or not it was going to be something that you're like, if you were really pumped about it, or it's just something kind of like on the side for fun. So I mean, you can, it, if you're like really dedicated to it, like the artwork and the story and stuff, it's probably going to take up a lot of time if you have like more than one. But it kind of just depends on like what kind of approach you want to take to it. It can't be done. Any other questions? Yes? Why pick the characters that you picked? Um. Well, I really, really like, I like the background characters a lot, and I do feel like they could use more developing, like in like character development, because the main six are like fully developed, they have their own personalities. But even on the background characters, they have their personalities, like Lyra likes humans and stuff like that, and Octavia is like all like fancy or whatever. Like, <laughs> I thought that they could use like more development, and so I chose Vinyl Scratch, and since she's a kid, I could like develop her from like her childhood on and up and stuff. Yeah, I agree. I think that's like the funnest part about it. Like, the Ask Blog thing is you can take a character who doesn't have like a background story or like much to them and then you can kind of find something that seems to re relate to them in some way or even something that doesn't relate and then like find a way to make it work for them and just like you have this whole universe that you can expand into that's like half the fun is like designing your own like taking the character and then making it your own um for, for my blog rainbow dash pretty much has a character already that was that's defined in the show itself and I guess it was kind of like me exploring someone with that sort of pride in themselves and having their dreams dashed. Because in a sense, <laughs> dashed. But in a sense, um, I I've noticed that I have some pride issues, like rainbow dash. And was, I guess it was a way for me to figure out how I would deal with my own pride and how I would deal with losing. Any chance of pursuing my dreams, like if I could no longer draw, for example, how um, I guess it was like a self exploration sort of thing. <laughs> kind of a morbid one. Yeah, another morbid thing, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, 
pretty dark person. So, any questions? Yes? Yeah, um, Captain Lunica is, is very story driven, but I wanted the, the reader to be able to like inter interact with it and feel like they were a part of the story because in Captain Luna, the, the reader is actually a character in the story. Um, and so as, if you have, I kind of, there's a, I think of it sort of like Doctor Who where there are fixed points in time, there are certain events that have to happen, which are the main points of your story. And then in between is where the asks come in and how you can kind of let the story develop in a way maybe that you didn't see before, and then you can connect those fixed points. And then to get to those, what you can do is if you, in updates, you can kind of see the readers and, and lead them in a certain direction. Like if you indicate a certain, like maybe, like an explosion or some kind of like crash or something that you don't quite, you don't show what it is, and then the readers will be like, turn around, investigator, what was that? Or something that kind of leads them in the general direction of of where you want your story point to be, and then you can use those asks to answer, you know, your story thing. And the other thing is, a lot of times you will get random asks that don't quite relate, but then since you're the author and the artist, you can, you can take the question and spin it in a different direction and turn it into something completely different, you know, than what the asker intended and make it work for you. Also save those questions for yeah. later, like <laughs> stockpile random questions for when they're relevant. I think you've done that before. Yes. Yeah. And also, not every update has to have asks in it. Like, if you really ne like need a thing to happen, you can don't have any asks that will work. You can just draw what you have in mind, and just maybe next you'll get more asks like that have to do. It's also okay to use, like, if you want to send yourself an anonymous ask, don't, like, be like, oh my god, I have to wait for someone to send me this particular question that I really need for the story to advance, like, to yourself as, as an anon, and then, like, you know, answer it. It's, it's, it's just, like, another tool to, to further your story and get people interested, because that's what's really important, you know, getting your story out there and people engaged. No, I'd recommend using that sparingly again. <laughs> you want to have the audience who involves every now and then when the username appears. It's better. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a tool for those tight situations. Any other questions? Or yes? also kind of scary because I didn't even know quite what I was doing, but I would just say that like, if you have something that's important to you or an idea that you really like, just like, 
start out, go for it. Don't don't be too afraid to push forward and just you know, I mean, dive right in. It's not gonna, it might not be the greatest thing at the beginning, but after a little while, you'll like start to find your pace. You know, like when you're running a race, you just kind of get into it, and then you know, your your block will take off. For me, I had a I had an unusual situation because. I made the blog, and I made one single post in an overnight and had 500 followers. So I kind of panicked. <laughs> but um, yeah, sadly, like I, I can't give you a good example of what it usually probably like because I, I don't know how it happened. I did not post on Reddit. I didn't post it anywhere. It just happened. <laughs> so yeah. So yes. No, I did not tag it either. I, it's literally like magic. To this day, I still do not understand what happened to make that blog. Yeah, it's, it's still a mystery to me. Um, if there are no more, any more questions? So tumblers, um, Captain Luna. Tumblr. Com should be marbles. And um, mine is simply ask blind dash with no spaces or dashes. And okay, now I'm ask small dash Billy dash vinyl dot tumblr dot com. Um, Captain Luna. Oh yeah, it's just Captain Luna dot tumblr dot com. Make sure that the, I, I tend to mix up the A and the I and Captain. So <laughs> make sure it's the right spelling. Yes? I know a lot of the attention has been brought to a single blog is from maybe one person just for blogging at the right time or somewhere on the podcast that is talking to or something. So, do you guys do a lot of networking just to find He asked, like, I think you asked, like, do we ask, um, do we have, like, friends and stuff that promote our blogs? Yeah. So that there were like 50 followers in one day, and I'm like, oh, okay. And um, that's what a lot of people do, those um, like follower pictures, because when they put like followers, then they like reblog it, and that's how they get like more followers. But like, people are like, oh, you're too my guy, I guess I'll reblog it to my blog. And so that's how I got a lot of my followers in the beginning, too. Um, I never actually asked for promotions, but I've been lucky to get uh, people promoting me, such as a Pirate Dash, Fish Upon, and Cal Payne. They um, work together to have Blind Dash feature an EQD, which is like, left me kind of speechless. And um, Mike the Microphone also helped and reblogged Blind Dash, you know, starting off, and that doubled to the account of them. So, yeah. While I didn't ask for anything, I did get some Emotions for me, but I'm eternally grateful for that. Yeah, I didn't really go around like asking people for anything. Like a couple of people did, you know, once I kind of like got going into it because I'd been telling them about it and it was like, it was something I was really interested in. Um, and it did eventually end up getting on, featured on like EQD and stuff. But I, I, my personal feeling on it is that if you do something that's like worthwhile to you, even if like at the beginning like no one knows what it is, as long as it's something that you're like really interested in, people will see that got like some heart in it and eventually they'll like start picking up and be like, you know what, this is something genuine that's like actually interesting. I'm gonna reblog this or like send it to Reddit or be like, oh hey you guys should feature on EQD or whatever. I mean you know it's it's a bit difficult because if you have an idea that consumes you, you'll you won't be able to help yourself but want to make something. And that's what I think is fundamentally important to make an as blog that is successful because even if it has like 200, 500, maybe even just 100 followers, if that idea consumes you and you work with it and you invest your time into it, you will make something that will be exceptional and unique. And I think that's 
one of the most important things in my view in this blog. Yes? The question is, are we trying to move into, or segue into any career by running an ass blog? Yeah. Um, personally, I'm not going into any creative field as a career. I'm more interested in studying computer science or engineering. And, um, Um, I am sort of like heading toward an art-based direction, but for me, like the nice thing about the Tumblr ass blog is to like take thing is to take like the different talents that I've acquired and like into try and like mesh them all together into something that's interesting for me. Um, so it's more of things that I have learned for a career and then combining these kind of separate things into one in Tumblr. Like I. I studied fashion design, I studied art, um, and other things, and like I was trying to find something where I could like combine these sort of related things into, into something, into, into like one cohesive whole, and just like you don't use all the arrows in your quiver, I guess you could say. Though it's like just to start, I already have the entire ending planned out. But it will end because like it's not gonna go on like forever and ever. Like I'm gonna probably end it after like a couple of years and then I'm like done with it maybe, you know. Um, my blog does have an end, but at this time I do not know when it will occur. <laughs> And since mine is pretty heavily story based, like it, it definitely has like a beginning, a middle, and an end like mapped out. So I definitely feel like there's a drive to actually achieve this endpoint because even though you know there's interaction and stuff, like I do want to eventually finish all these characters' journey and like you know take them somewhere. Any other questions? Yes. Yeah. I don't really like it when people do that because I have a lot of like other stuff that's not just running a blog. Like I have school and like school projects and like after school things. And so I don't necessarily have a lot of time to um, update a blog except for like on the weekends really. And so when people are like, you must update now, I'm just like, I don't really have the time to do that. So that kind of like bothers me. Well, it's interesting because a lot of people will be like, well, you're running an ass blog, you should update, right? You should have like, a schedule or something. But the important thing is these ass blogs are run by people. <laughs> and people have things happen. And, yeah. And for, some, for some people, it, it causes them to just, they, they can't actually update anymore and they put their blogs on hiatus or kind of fade away from back because life, life can sometimes just throw you into the middle and just like leave you to rot. So sometimes you just can't help but have other priorities than you're asking fuck. I would say take heart if, if someone's like sending you a message like, how come you haven't updated your blog? I mean, I would take that as encouragement. Like someone's actually interested in like what you're making or they're engaged and they want to find out what happens next. So. Don't, instead of feeling like stressed out, like, oh god, I need to like update this, be like, cool, people like my story, and I, or whatever, my, the way I have this character done, you know, do it at your own pace, and I mean, since you're, I hope, doing the blog for your own personal enjoyment, but, you know, just take it at your own pace. Any other questions or anything from anyone? Yes? Well, 
Um, I have my other blog that I am making that I know is going to go on for like a long time because I kind of want it to be kind of like a, like a graphic novel in a way. Like it's not an aspect blog and so that I want that to go on for like much longer than my aspect blog because it's going to have like a really long story to go with it as opposed to mostly being just asks being answered. Um, after the end of Blind Dash, I was wondering, it's just still a question for me whether I'll change it from having some sort of plot to just going to slice of life, which is a pretty common theme for a blog, and just kind of shoot it, or maybe just end it and move on. It's hard for me to say for now. I guess when it comes, I'll make up my mind. I'm not sure. So, yeah. yeah. I personally have other projects that I'm like, waiting to work on like before I started doing my own my ass blog like I had a comic that I was kind of writing but I didn't quite know what kind of approach to like take with that and by doing the ass blog I learned I, I, I've learned and I'm still learning a lot of things about like telling a story or developing characters or designing things for a story or drawing efficiently or things like that so it's kind of like It'll, it'll be nice when it's over, and then to move on to something else, and like try out all these things that I've learned, and you know, take it, take the next step or whatever. Any other questions?
For Tumblr, all you need to really use is HTML. So the code for it would be um, opening caret a href, which is h e r h r e f equals quotes your link to the S box, which is usually like a, for Captain Luna, Captain.luna.tumblr.com slash ask end quote, and then you put a, a closing caret, and then you need to get an image. So after that, you'd have to do opening caret image, etc., etc. You'd have to look up the HTML codes for um, hot linking and put, um, putting an image. And then if you just put that into your themes for in the description part of your themes, it will show up as a link. Um, just look up the HTML for like how to make a hot link and how to post an image. And, and they just put the hot link around the image and they'll turn the image into a link. Another thing you can do is if, if you need to like upload an image and you're not sure how to do it, you can also um, make a private post on Tumblr, which is the only one that you can see. And then you can uh, comp you can view image source when you right-click on the image, and then you can use that as as your source when you do the HTML link for your image. It's a little more Cody. Any other questions? Yes. Yes. Uh, If you make a Tumblr and um, for some reason you piss off a large group of people, no, that doesn't happen. <laughs> it's only if you piss off a large group of people and they like spam flags, then you'll be taken down. But if you've not done nothing wrong or nothing against their terms of service, you'll be back up after a while. So it's not. not really well. Has not happened to any of us. Yes. Well, <laughs> well, he's very big, so when you're big, you tend to be able to piss off a lot more random people, apparently. So. Well, if there are no more questions, how much time do you have left? Just like a general Tumblr? An Ask Tumblr? Like Ask Blind Dash, Ask Final Scratch, that sort of thing? Oh, sorry. Well, um, if you, the first thing I want you to do, even before you make a Tumblr that has a story or anything is find an idea that you feel like you can invest yourself in. Because if you can't invest yourself in it, your audience won't care. They won't be able to invest in themselves in your story or your adventure thing or whatever you're doing. You need to be able to put heart into your blog or your idea. And that's it's kind of like hard to explain because it's sort of like you need to have a passion for it. It's just don't don't make a blog for no reason. <laughs> like, expect like oh just do try to find something that like you feel like you can grow and it will succeed invariably. Any other questions? Yes? No, we cannot draw your C. <laughs> Yeah.
helping it better. And while not everyone's goal is to improve, if you want to improve, like or learn things from running an S blog, try to put yourself on a schedule. It's hard, and I don't really adhere to it, but it's best to have a good schedule. Yes, to find a schedule, and if you want to update a good time, especially in this time zone, I'd recommend like afternoon is a good time because then that's when, around the time when everyone starts with their blogs, their dashboards, and stuff. But yeah, it's best to try to have a schedule that you adhere to. I think you had a question. Did you ask what is the estimated time it takes us to do like a, a, a general update on our? Well, it depends on what it is. Like if I if I like to do multiple channels for my asks, like I could be just like doing one one, and that wouldn't take very long. It take between like like thirty minutes just to do like one if I want to make it look, look really good and stuff. But if I want to when I do multiple channels, I don't really have the time to like make it like super duper good and so I, I, don't, I don't really spend more than like like 45 minutes because I don't know. And um, for me it usually actually takes about three to five hours which is why it's hard for me to update because it's a lot of planning and thinking. Yeah I'm probably the worst of the three actually. Um, I get way too involved in it so I spend Hours? Well, I probably spent at least 12 hours of work for updates. Because <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. I, I, I don't know. I mean, you have to. I guess just kind of like decide like how much time you want to spend on it, and then try not to get too carried away. Which I probably should practice what I preach. Yeah. Um, we have like time for like maybe one more question. We have about two minutes left. So yes. seeing ponies pop up everywhere. I was like, what the heck is this? And I'm, I was like, I wouldn't ask my sister about it. I'm like, oh, I'm seeing all these ponies. Like, what is up with that? She was like, oh, you know, they, they made a new My Little Pony show. You might actually like this. So I just sat down and watched like the first couple episodes. And then as soon as Applejack like was having a sleepy time on the farm or whatever, I was just like, all right, I like this. I better know. <laughs> <laughs> See, I guess um, that concludes this panel. So, thank you for your time. Everyone. Yeah, thank you guys.